Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your quick and general reading. This is um, a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this is the right time. And I hope that it will give you some form of guidance or advice that you're hoping to get at this point in your life. Okay. This is an energy reading for Taurus, for the sign of Taurus. So we're going to pick an oracle card for you to begin. For those of you who are new, my name is Shamla Tan and I am a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. I use the cards sometimes in my therapy work and of course um, I offer tarot readings. If you're interested in a personalized reading, you can book a session. Details on how to book is below this video. Okay. Let's pick one card for you for the sign of Taurus. We have here Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Wow. Change. Time for change. Taurus, I feel, you know, it may not necessarily be a move to a new home or place of employment for some of you. It could be just, uh, some of you could even be moving country. Some of you could be um, maybe even rearranging the elements in your home. Uh, some form of movement, you know, definitely is needed. It's definitely a welcome change, a shift in energy for you, Taurus, okay? So keep in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and drop the rest. Let's see what comes up for you. This energy read the sign of Taurus. Okay, and so we have here five of swords. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. All of these came out at the same time. Are these yours? Mm, no. Only this one is yours. Okay, let's see. Can we have uh one more for Taurus? Ooh, what's this? Is this yours? No, identically, it's not in sync. That just happened to be reversed, or just happened to have flipped over. Okay, so can we have one more for Taurus, please? Ah, Ace of Cups. Okay, that was the one that opened. So it's opening again. So this means okay, I'll bring it closer to you in a short while. Okay, you the glare is not allowing you to look at it properly now let's look at um all the cards presented currently well um some of you are unsure about move right so we have five of swords um you are unsure maybe feeling a little bit conflicted about the move even though this message here says that any form of movement whether move of uh, home or employment is good for you is positive but it may be a little bit difficult to leave some things behind and to go through the move itself, right? Some of you may be feeling a little bit reluctant or uh, it may feel a bit difficult. Um, I feel also, I sense that some of you are going through some form of um, ending like a pain, right? I mean, before you go, before you move, there's always an ending to something. Some of you may feel like... Um, Almost hopelessness, you know, some heavy energies, okay, hopelessness. But I want you to know that there is very good outcome. Maybe at the moment you're feeling this way, but the the, the good outcomes are really coming. You know, it's, it's not, um, yeah, you know, because we have 10 of pentacles, which is very good. Uh, Ten of pentacles is about security, it's about family stability. And then we have queen of pentacles. Also a very positive card. You know, you have this positive energy. And then Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is, you know, like really deep connection within. So maybe what you're feeling is actually a facilitating towards, uh, helping you to move towards a deeper spiritual connection, even for some of you, and emotional stability, emotional uh, maturity. And sometimes we need to go through a little bit of challenges to dive deeper right into our shadow self now if you're interested in shadow work you can check out my other channel called musings from the past present and future the link is below this video 
And uh, in that channel is educational. I teach about shadow work and all of that. So you might want to explore a little bit there, um, Taurus, exploring, you know, investigate what are your own shadow energies, um, how to work through them, and so on. So let's get some clarifiers and more information for Five of Swords. Maybe it will get more specific. Ooh, Four of Swords. Clarified by Four of Swords. So you definitely need uh, time alone to work through. And then we have Four of Wands. Okay, so the working through is actually uh, really good for you to work through the feelings of uncertainty, conflict, defeat, maybe even disappointment for some of you. And take some time alone, you know, renew that. Take it as, you know, a, a renewal season because, yeah, this energy, I mean, it's all pointing towards helping you to gain stable ground. Four of Wands is really about coming into realignment, coming into harmony, greater harmony with yourself. And I think it's part of the process. So depending on where you are, so some of you may already uh, be experiencing this, you know, the conflict, the defeat and disappointment, and maybe you're moving out of it. Some of you are further along the line, right? You're further along. You already feel it, you see it, and you are possibly in this space here right now where you are completely opening yourself up, you know? So, but the stability, energy of stability is coming in, energy of uh, harmony definitely also coming in very strongly. So can we have some clarifiers? Okay, let's, this one is definitely for you, okay? Um, to clarify Ten of Pentacles, you have new projects, new inspiration, new plans, new things coming in, new opportunities coming in for you. And, um, oh my God, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and you have Ace of Cups. So a lot of um, single-pointed clarity, a lot of clear direction. You're moving towards, you know, very clear direction. I like this. I like this. You're going to have a breakthrough, Taurus. And then, of course, you know, uh, Queen of Pentacles is um, the ability to manifest, you know, nurturing energies. You're also feeling very generous um, emotionally. Okay, heart-based kind of generosity, and king of wands, right? And that awakens the leadership qualities within yourself. You are taking control and make, wow. Look at that. I told you, right? Things are get, just getting better and better and better, right? You may have started off with feeling a little bit defeated. And uh, so there's a lot of new things coming in. I feel also you're developing uh, a new understanding of leadership. And some of you may be starting your, because, you know, King of Wands energy is very entrepreneur kind of energy. Maybe some of you are starting a side hustle and maybe you have already started this side hustle and you want to allow your side hustle to become your full-time thing. And if you're looking for a sign, this may be the sign because we have the sun. The sun is like pure positive energies, pure optimism, pure vitality, you know, a lot of strength, a lot of energy, and you should ride on this wave, you know, the wave of the sun. Plus, you are so open. Look at the Ace of Cups. It's about being completely open and welcoming spiritual energies, positive energies to uplift you. And, you know, if this is like, um, you know, if you're, you've been looking for a sign, right? You're looking for some sort of uh, injection of positive energies, this reading is it for you. It's really powerfully with Queen of Pentacles. Again, look at this. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Really, it's telling us that you are coming into yourself, you know, with this sense of uh, ability to manifest, you know, nurturing qualities and very generous with your time, with your money even. Uh, very good. Uh, maybe also coming coming to terms with your good business sense. A very natural instinct for business. And we have seven of wands here, right? And seven of wands is teaching you how to stand your ground, have clear boundaries. So as you open yourself up, make sure that you also have clear boundaries. 
so that other people are not, you know, uh, stepping into your territory or trying to trample on you as you allow success to come closer to you. Let's have one more. I feel like, Taurus, you need one more. One more card for you. I like this reading. This is a good reading. Queen of Cups. Definitely. Right? So Queen of Cups is opening yourself up um, to receive support, to give support as well, being caring, compassionate, very empathetic, and all of that. Very positive. So, you know, you're coming to um, such a level of emotional maturity as well as almost like a um, all-round improvement emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, and even, you know, on the money level, is all coming into better days. You're really seeing better days. The sun is really working hard for you, okay? Very good reading here, Taurus. I like this. I really like this. Now, let's see. Can we have some messages from the universe, from the divine, the Taurus, please? So we'll open one or two cards, depending. Let's see how it goes. And here we have... Hope is the conduit for miracles. Isn't this true? Okay. True for you, you know. One more. One more for Taurus. And we have here, my vibes speak louder than my words. This is so true. This is so true. I really like this for you. Okay, Taurus, I wish you the best and I'll see you again soon. Um, if this message resonates, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate this energy exchange and a comment. I'd like to know how you're doing. Okay, take good care. Bye for now.